So the game I'm playing today is called Beat Hazard. This is something I've wanted to make a video of for a little while now. It's a game that I used to play a lot when I was in middle school. This came out back in like 2010. Well, it, it came out for PC in 2010, but I think this was originally a game that was released on Xbox Live via Xbox Live Indie Games in 2009, if I'm not mistaken, and it later made its way to PC. This is another one of these games where your music powers the game's levels, because there are no pre-made levels. This one is in the style of a 2D shoot-em-up. Much like all of these other music-based games where you add your own music into the game and it procedurally generates a level, it takes uh, basically the intensity of the song into account, and it also uses this to generate different enemies, like there are tiny ships that you can destroy, uh, there's asteroids too, there's also gigantic bosses that you need to kill, and all of that is determined by the music you're playing. Basically, it's the whole audio surf formula where more chaotic the song is, the more chaotic the levels are, and the quieter it is, well, the less chaotic the levels are. I haven't played this game in quite a while. I think it's been about two years since I last played it. It is a game that I keep coming back to every now and then. I'm really not sure why I haven't made a video of it, though. Well, actually, there is kind of a reason why. Because this is another game that is powered by your own music. It got into the whole problem of, uh, I don't want to play copyrighted music because that's going to result in my channel getting a strike. Possibly. Of course, there is a way to counter this now, because we do have copyright-free music on YouTube, so I can just play that in the video instead, and I don't have to worry about my channel getting a copyright strike, or the video getting a copyright strike. But something I have known about for a little while is that Beat Hazard does actually have its own selection of music you can choose from. Uh, it basically has its own album. So I've decided that we're gonna play some tracks from the Beat Hazard album instead. And, I don't know, maybe I'll play something from NCS near the end of the video, if I have enough time, but with that being said, how about we just get started right away? Actually, I should warn you guys about something before we get started. This game contains a lot of flashing lights, so if you have photosensitive epilepsy, this is not the video for you. <laughs> right, so we're just gonna get started. Now, a couple things I do want to show off before we actually go to single player mode here. Uh, you have a ship hanger right here. This is where you can actually change your ship. What is interesting about this game is that it does have Steam Workshop support, so you can actually create your own ships, and you can also download other ships that the game's community has created. As you can see, the only one I ever unlocked is the standard ship, so... Yeah, I have no choice but to use this one for now. There's also different perks that you can unlock. I have played this game a lot over the past few years, so I do already have a lot of these uh, upgrades already. Uh, Jamie likes Big Boom, Char Topper, Devil Plays Well, I Don't Die, Goodie Bag, Pump Up the Vault, and Pow Pow Pow. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to explain what those are right now. Uh, online play is not available in the version of Beat Hazard I have. So we'll just go to single player here. We do have different game types to choose from. We have standard mode, survival, boss rush, and chill out. Again, I can't play boss rush because that's only available in the ultra version. We'll just go to standard mode for now. And we can also uh, show our folders here. As you can see, you even have different radio stations as well. Uh, we are going to go to the Beat Hazard album here, as you can see. So we open that, and we have a bunch of different songs we can choose from. Now, we actually have quite a few of them here in the Beat Hazard album. I think what I am going to play, though, is actually this one. Because I just listened to this one off-screen, and it sounds amazing. Yeah, Beast Mode by x -Corp. Uh, fun fact, this song was actually used in one of the Penry Stickman games. Yeah, remember when I played, uh, that series of Flash games a little while back? Yeah, it was used in Stealing the Diamond. Just thought you- I thought it would be interesting to let you guys know that. Or I thought you guys would be interested in knowing that. Alright, so we'll go and choose this one right here. So we have visual intensity here. Yeah, what is what I do like about this game is that you can lower the intensity of the visuals. And just for the sake of this video, I am going to lower them as, as much as I possibly can. But at least you guys can still see it. Uh, I am going to go to normal mode. And before the bass drops here, we're just going to start the game right away. Here we go. Right, so we're playing beast mode by X-Core. Oh wow, I already got a bunch of upgrade drops right here. So yeah, we're going to start right now. 
So we have a bunch of asteroids that we can destroy here. Some of these will drop multipliers, some of them also drop money. As you can see, oh yeah, we also have enemies that come in here. Yeah, this game has a lot of bright lights and, and colors, so you really... Yeah, if, again, if you have photosensitive epilepsy, please do not watch this video here. Uh, there's also different uh, power-ups for the volume. Uh, you can basically get... Uh, well, well, basically, the volume upgrades make the music a lot louder, and that way, your ship actually becomes a lot more powerful. And, uh, oh my god, I already have, like, 27 multipliers. Yeah, you also get multipliers for basically not shooting at any of the enemies, you know, trying to be a pacifist, basically. Uh, your weapon power, you can also increase as well by collecting certain upgrades, but they're not falling right now. I don't know where they are. Yeah, and then here comes all of the enemies right here, because the base just dropped. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, so that's basically how this works. Oh, jeez, okay. I'm not really used to playing the game on normal mode. When I used to play this back when I was in middle school, I used to play it mostly on easy. Uh, that warning means the boss is coming. You can even see the volume level as well. Uh, wow, that Metal Gear Solid sound effect was, like, timed perfectly with that boss appearing. See, another problem, too, is that the screen moves around so much that you cannot... You just cannot really see what the heck's going on here. You do drop some of your power-ups when you die, but you can go and pick them up. Yeah, this game has a little bit too much motion blur, if I may be honest with you. What is... what I do like, though, is that you can destroy the bullets. Here, increase the volume so I can make my ship more powerful. Holy crap, dude. Here, get some volume upgrades right here. Beat hazard. We're going into beat hazard mode right here. Yeah, it also shows you on the top of the screen how much time there is left until the song ends. And, yeah, it's just a really cool little little shoot -em up right here. Yeah, so as you can see, the song is a lot quieter now, so not only are the enemies moving a lot slower, but your ship is a lot less powerful, too. Uh, I think I might want that- oh, good god, you appeared, like, right up in my face. How you doing? Got a massive boss right here. Oh yeah, I do remember this guy, actually. Yeah, he's gonna throw bombs at me. He's gonna throw bams at me. Yeah, see how the music gets quieter and everything starts slowing down? Oh, good god. Hang on a second. I remember what these are. These are homing missiles. Oh, my lord. I can't see a frigging thing. But at least I know I am doing damage to him. Come on, make that base drop. Make the base drop so I can regain all my power. Regain my power. There we go. Oh, jeez. I didn't, I didn't even notice that there. Uh, oh god. What are you, what are you firing at me? There's so many enemies that are flying out in front of me, too. I can't even see what the heck's going on. Come on. Yeah, so, again, it is also kind of a difficult game to play because of how hard it can be to see what you're doing sometimes. I mean, look at this, for goodness sakes. There, there's, like, way too much motion blur in this game. Like, if there is one complaint I have about it, it'd probably be that. I mean, I still loved playing this game back in the day, and I still do every now and then, but holy crap. It's so hard to see sometimes. Here, just destroy these asteroids right here so we can get some more multipliers, we can get a better score. Okay, I see that one coming towards me. There we go, get out of here. Get out of here, for goodness sakes. We're basically playing asteroids now. There we go. They just break off into tiny little pieces as we can then destroy. Very good indeed. Got a 100x multiplier. Very nice. And again, if we just stay like this... Yeah, so we have, we have a daredevil meter filling up. When that meter fills up, we will get an additional multiplier. So you can even get multipliers for being a pacifist, it still awards you for doing that. But just hang on a moment. Hang on a moment, we're not through with this song just yet. Yeah, I also need to be careful because there's asteroid pieces flying all over the place. There we go, kaboom, kaboom, oh hi guys, how are you doing? You're just like waiting for me there. Okay, hang on a second, just kill him. Kill him right now, there. And now that the song is over, everything just slows down to a crawl. And that's it. And then, yeah, you just use a smart bomb automatically when it when it finishes. Track rating 100%, 635,000 points. And we do actually get, uh... Yeah, we do get experience points for that. I'm already up to, like, Command Officer. Uh, I'm not sure what level that is, though. But we are about to rank up. Then we have the other song by X-Core on the Beat Hazard album, Syntax, which I guess we can go and play. Uh... I don't know if I'll go to Hardcore. Yeah, for Jedi only in Saiyan, suicidal failure is an option. Again, I will just go on normal mode. I don't know if I am actually going to show those game modes off in this video, but I will grab my, uh, my power-ups, please. Thank you very much. Alright, this is Syntax. 
Okay, well, it, it's starting off- it's starting off very quiet right now. I haven't played any of these levels off-screen, by the way. Yeah, here we go. Here come the drums. The drums are coming in. Alright. Starting off a little bit slow right now, but maybe it'll- it'll speed up in just a moment. Yeah, so you can tell, like, it really does affect the, uh... It- it does affect the entire level. Like, if- if you have a song that's really quiet, then all of the enemies will move incredibly slowly. And I think there are less enemies, too, if- if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, I could be wrong about that, but here, give me that- my smart bomb. And of course, if it's a lot louder, then, uh, your lasers will be a lot more powerful, too. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of them here. There we go. There we go. I'm able to take care of this. I know what I'm doing. Thank you very much. Give me that multiplier, please. And thank you. Oh, good god, there's a lot of them here. Oh my lord, there's so many of them. I don't remember how to use my smart bombs. Okay, I think it was right-click. Yeah, I don't know how else I would- I would have been able to get myself out of that predicament. Oh, good goodness. Oh, good goodness. There we go. Take the- take the massive guys out. Take the massive guys out. Are you guys even firing at me? Wow. I saw you coming from behind. You ain't gonna fool me that easily. Good lord. So many things moving around here. Yeah, so wait for this meter to fill up. Yeah, see? There we go. I'm getting multipliers for doing absolutely nothing. It does reward you for that. Good- oh my god. How the heck? How- like- like seriously, how on earth? How on earth am I supposed to deal with all of that? She is. Okay, here are the little guys. Little guys I'm fine with. Little guys I can easily take care of. Give you my money too. Can use this to purchase even more upgrades later on. Oh my goodness. Okay, give me another smart bomb at the very least. I don't think I'm gonna need to use it right now though. I can do this on my own. Multi-millionaire, okay, I got another achievement. Very good indeed. Very good indeed, not like I really care about that though, but sure, fine, why the heck not? It's okay. Is there a, a boss coming in? No, just some more asteroids? Okay, that's- that's fine then. Give me some- give me some upgrades here. Give me some upgrades. So yeah, I- I definitely know how to play this before, because I've played this so many times. As a matter of fact, before recording this video, I actually looked at how many hours I logged into this game. I apparently logged a total of, like, 16. Which, I mean, is a lot for a- for, uh, for just one game. It is quite a bit. I don't know, I kind of- I kind of expected there to be more hours logged, considering I've been playing this game for, like, seven years. I purchased this game, like, seven years ago, so... I don't know, I guess... Well, I don't know, I still- I still enjoyed it a lot, but I think after a little while I just started playing it a lot less often because I lost interest in it. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, yeah. The, I think the song is about- is about to end here in a few seconds. Oh, goodness. Just move around them. There we go. Is there nothing that's gonna kill me here? No, I don't think so. Okay, more guys coming in from here. Avoid their- their things. Avoid their things! How many super bombs do I still have, anyway? Two? Alright. Uh, okay, yeah, the song's- the song's basically over. So now we can just go destroy these guys, collect this cash. Not even sure why we'd have to destroy the- <laughs> destroy the asteroids. Yeah, but as you can see, destroying the asteroids now takes a much longer time because we're so much less powerful because there's not even any music playing. There we go, we got it though. 632,000, and we did level up, I believe. Yes, indeed, we have sub-lieutenant, and we're already halfway to ranking up again. Right, so I guess we'll try out survival mode now. I don't actually remember what this mode is. I guess I'll manage my perks very quickly. Uh, plus three volume power-ups, sure. Plus four now. I can only have so many of these activated, I'm pretty sure. Uh, for now though, I think I'm not gonna bother with that and we'll just go and start a game here. Uh, oh wait, actually, I think I do remember what survival mode is, guys. I think after one song ends, it just moves to a different song. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm very certain. I think that's, that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's what survival mode is. I guess we'll find out soon enough though. Yeah, because it, it's timing me. It's- it's timing how long I've been alive for, so I think that's what it is, actually. So, other than that, it's not really that different from the main game mode. But I guess I could at least try out one more song here before ending the video. Cause, I mean, that's all there really is I have to say about Beat Hazard, guys. This is the entire game. I mean, there's not really anything else to it. And I don't- I don't own Beat Hazard Ultra, so I can't show off any of the features in that version of the game, because I- I don't own it. So, no boss rush, unfortunately. I can't show that off, I also can't show off online mode, so... Yeah, can't- can't really- can't really do any of that. 
unfortunately. Yeah, but as you can see, just using some some music from my own my own hard drive here. Got a song from NCS here. Um, okay, well, there's not a lot of enemies right now. It's kind of strange. Come on, bring some enemies to me, please. Bring some enemies to me, please. But please is what I meant to say. Holy crap. Uh, okay, yeah, oh, oh, all right, there's, that's actually a lot. Also, I, I think, oh no, you do still have three lives. I thought in this mode you only had, like, one life. Oh god. Oh god. There's so many of that. Okay, the homing missile, get away from me, please. I was trying to go and pick up all the other stuff. Here, while the song is calming down, kill all these guys in a chain. There we go, nice. Give me all that stuff. Okay, the boss is coming. Big boss is coming. Big boss hoss. Oh god, there's two of them coming, actually. Oh, I remember this. I remember this! Okay, how- how even? How did I avoid that exactly? Yeah, he- he throws out what looks like a rope. It's actually like a- a laser- a laser chain. I have no idea how I was supposed to avoid that exactly. Oh god, what else is getting fired at me? Here, des destroy the- the wings of his ship so that he can't fire crap at me. That's how you do it. That's how you take care of these guys. Very nice indeed. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. I don't really know why I'm going for the cash. I mean, it's not something I really care about anyway. But, sure, I guess why not. Here we go. Get those snares in there. And, and before the drop, that drum and bass drop is gonna is about to come in here, because I have heard this song before. Here it goes. There we go. And, wow, okay. There's not a lot of flashing going on. Then again, I, I guess I also, very quickly, like after I finish this song, I guess I could show you guys... Uh, what the game looks like at the maximum visual intensity because it is absolutely bonkers Like I don't understand how the developer expects you to, to be able to concentrate on anything at like 200% visual intensity It's just it's ridiculous. I guess I could show off like a very short song uh, Yeah, I, I guess I could try try and do that uh, very quickly and then maybe after that we'll we'll be done here. Okay, I really need to get rid of these these asteroid pieces because there's too many of them flying around here. There's way too many of them flying around. Good. I'll go and grab this. Sure, why the heck not? Yeah. So the volume power-ups are not gonna drop anymore because I am at maximum volume now. And also maximum power on my my weapons here too. I do like this though. I like this color. My lasers are all blue. Or purple, because that's kind of what they're turning into. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Okay, there we go. We're done, but I think it does... Yeah, it does go into the next song, so I am I am remembering this correctly. Okay, this is good colors. Oh, this is really good colors. Red and green? Bright red and green colors? Yeah, that totally doesn't strain my eyes at all. Yeah, so you're basically seeing how long you can survive for. I don't think I'm gonna bother, though. How did I... I don't know why that didn't kill me. Uh, yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna end this now, guys, I really do. Uh, end survivor mode, I mean. Let me just crash into this piece right here, okay, there we go. Oh wait, I still have one more life? Okay, it's another, it's another instance where having zero lives counts as having only one life remaining. There, dead. Is it gonna end? Yes, thank you. 4 minutes and 23, new best time, you got 225,000 points, which does also get added to your experience. So yeah, basically all the points that you get in this game are like experience points. So you can get them, uh, you know, when you go into, uh, well, when you when you complete different songs. It basically adds the score that you received as uh, experience points. That way you can rank up. Still not quite sure what ranking up actually does in this game. I've never fully understood what it does. Well, I hope you guys are ready to get blinded because we have the visual intensity set to 200%. I'm gonna show you guys just how insane and horrible this can actually get. So we'll just go collect all this stuff. As a matter of fact, you can already tell, it, it looks a lot brighter. Uh, just wait for some stuff to come around here. Here, I'll just, I'll just spin around in circles, uh, while I'm waiting for stuff to appear. Yeah, so when, when, when the beat drops here, you'll, you'll see. Actually, you can already see, look at this. Here we go. I, I like, like, look at this, guys. Just, just look at this. Look at the, look at how bright the strobe effects become when I set it to 200%. Like, this is... This is absurd. Like, why would you ever want to play the game like this? This is horrible. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, it gets especially bad when you get into a in, into a full beat hazard. And uh, okay, why did I lose focus of the game window? Game, please don't don't start doing weird things. Or I should say, my laptop, because my laptop's been doing a lot of strange 
things recently. Um, yeah, so, there, there you go, guys. That, that's what it looks like when you play this game at 200% visual intensity. It is atrocious. Like, seriously. Why, why in the heck would you ever want to play the game like this? I just don't understand. Almost like you wanna, it, it's, it's like you wanna experience seizures. Like you never experienced one before, you always wanted to know what it looks like. Or what it, what it feels like to have a seizure. Well, I'd have to question what the hell's wrong with you, but, uh... I mean, sure, it's your life, do whatever the heck you want with it, but... Oh my god, it's, it's just... It's so hard to look at, it really is. It even hurts my eyes. But I'm gonna try and complete the rest of this song, and then we'll... Well, I, I just have a couple more things to show off to you guys, and then after that we'll be, we'll be done with this video. Here we go. Where's, where's Big Boss Hoss? Oh, here he is. Oh god, cannons. Cannons, please. Oh god, he, this is like a giant boss. Okay, I need to get rid of his cannons. Music, if you can intensify again, please. You have to bring that beat back. Oh no. Oh wow, the flank maneuvers are real. Holy crap. Here we go. It's, it's gonna drop again. There we go. Oh, I can't even see the boss anymore! Guys, I literally cannot see him. I don't, like, I, I, I don't know where anything is. I don't know where I am in time and space. Whole oh, I, okay, well, I saw that, though. Oh, my God. Why? Why would you ever want to? I don't get it. Okay, where was that thing coming from? There, give me all this stuff at the very least. Oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Just... I just... I just don't understand. I just... I just don't get it. At all. I don't get the point of this feature. I don't get the point. Whatsoever. Thank Christ it's done. Okay. I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use a super bomb automatically as soon as the, the song ends anyway. Just destroy all that stuff. I think I did rank up from this though. Got 100%. Very nice indeed. 500,000, and yep, that is enough to rank up all the way to Lieutenant. I'm a real Lieutenant now. So in addition to all of these modes right here, you do also have a Chill Out mode. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this mode, uh, okay, well, first set that back to 50%. Um, actually, I don't quite remember what this mode is. I think Chill Out mode makes it so that... Oh, yeah. Chill out mode makes it so that uh, you basically have infinite lives. I'm I'm pretty sure. So you don't you don't have to worry about dying. You can just play the song like normal, but you do have infinite lives, and because of the fact that you have infinite lives, it does not save your score and submit it to uh, the leaderboards or anything. So I think that's the only real difference, though. Other than that, it is just normal beat hazard. So. Yeah, you, you basically just have infinite lives, so I could I could die on purpose right here, and as you can see, the only thing that would end up happening is, uh, yeah, my multiplier goes down, I do lose some of my upgrades, but other than that, yeah, I just, I can just destroy enemies for, for as much as I like without having to worry about getting a game over. That's, that's, that's pretty much all this game mode is, so, if you just wanna, if you just wanna relax, I guess. But that's pretty much all there is to that, so there's no point in playing that anymore. Also, uh, something that I forgot to mention about the ship hangar here is that in order to download uh, custom ships made by the community and also to create your own ships, you need to download the Shadow Ops DLC first, or you need to purchase it because it's not free. But when you, when you download the Shadow Ops DLC, then you will get access to all the community-made ships, and you'll also be able to create your own ships. I really don't know why, like, the Steam Workshop is basically hidden behind a paywall in this game. That really doesn't make any sense to me. I kind of wish it was just a feature that you could use in the main game. I don't understand why you, you only include it in DLC. That really does not make any sense to me at all. That's a very bizarre business decision on the developer's part. I keep saying just developer, because, uh... Th I believe this game was developed by mostly one person. The fact that this was all made by just one guy is actually kind of impressive. Uh, stats and ranks. Total points, I have 6 million. Time played. That does not seem accurate in the slightest. An hour and 47. Uh, survival high score, best survival time. Either that, or it just means how much I've played in the game. Like, in, in terms of how long I've been playing the game itself for, like how many songs. 
Uh, yeah, these were all the, the pilot classes that I got to. And, oh, good god. Oh, wow, I'm actually almost at the end. So what level am I at right now? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm already at level 17. 8, 9, 20, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's only about 27 levels. Okay. I played this game a lot more than I thought I did. Holy crap. What about the leaderboards? Download my data. 127 billion? Is that like... Is that like total? Or... Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Tracks three to four minutes. Let's see the data here. Uh, 64 million. I don't know. It's it's on suicidal. So I mean, I I have I have no idea. I can't really tell if if there's any cheaters in there or not. It it seems genuine though, to to me anyway. Um, yeah. So I guess that's all I have to say about Beat Hazard, guys. I'll just leave this video here then. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was something that I wanted to play for a really long time, but I just couldn't figure out how I wanted to go about it. Considering it is a game powered by your own music, I was kind of debating on whether or not I should even make a video of this. Like, I, I, I don't want to play copyrighted music because then I run the risk of this video getting a copyright strike and, you know, some features on my channel would get disabled if I do that. But there was also a Beat Hazard album which is included in the game, so I don't know, maybe it wouldn't be so bad to just play those songs. Overall, I think this video did go pretty well. I mean, I did also play some NCS songs, those are copyright free, I don't need to worry about getting a copyright strike for using those songs in my videos. You know, as long as I just credit NCS in the description, then I'm in the clear, other than that. So, if you guys want to purchase this game, the link is in the description. I guess I recommend you purchase Beat Hazard Ultra, because it does seem like it has way more features than just the regular Beat Hazard. Because, when I initially purchased Beat Hazard, the Ultra version had not been released yet. Beat Hazard Ultra came out in, I think, 2011. Uh, I didn't bother purchasing it at the time, though. But, I do recommend you get the Ultra version, because it has a lot more features. Um, if you want to get custom ships, like create custom ships and also download them and play them, I guess I could also recommend the Shadow Ops DLC too, uh, because you pretty much have to get the DLC if you want to uh, download custom ships. That really does not make any sense, that kind of boggles my mind, how the Steam Workshop for Beat Hazard is basically hidden behind a paywall. Like, I don't understand why you would ever do that. And I guess another complaint I have about the game itself is that I feel like this game goes way too overboard with its, like, strobe light effects. I really do feel like it. Like, why would you ever want to play this game at 200% visual intensity? You guys saw what that looks like in this video. You, you can't even see a damn thing! It's so bright that you can't even see the enemies, not to mention the amount of strain it puts on your eye is. Like, why would you ever want to do that? Other than that, though, it is still a really fun game that I still enjoy playing to this day. I'm not sure how many people are really into music-based shoot-'em-ups, but, you know, if you're into this kind of stuff, then yes, definitely go and pick it up. I do recommend it. Beat Hazard also happens to be one of the highest-rated games on Steam. Another instance of a game on Steam with a user review score that exceeds 95% out of about 4,000 user reviews. And it still gets updated occasionally. I think the last update for this game did come out earlier this year, even though it was just a bug fix update, but still, that means the developer does still care about this game. And I think the Shadow Ops DLC came out sometime in 2014, but anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Pick this game up, it's, it, it is a lot of fun, but, uh... If you have photosensitive epilepsy, I really cannot recommend this game to you, because this game really overdoes it with its strobe light effects, I do feel. So, if you are very prone to seizures, don't pick this game up. Even if you have the visual intensity set to only 50%, it's likely that's not going to help you at all. But other than that, the game is still a blast to play, and I do recommend you pick it up, as long as you're not epileptic. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later. Oh, by the way, I'm not done playing all of these music-driven games just yet, guys. I am going to try to play Audio Surf at some point as well. I've mentioned Audio Surf in a couple of my older videos, like when I played Vector Stunt, and I think also when I played Taurus Trooper. 
I, re I really do want to try and play Audio Surf as well. That's another game I've been meaning to play for many, many years. It is another game that's powered by your own music, and since I found a way to get around the whole how do I play this game without getting a copyright strike problem, I'm gonna try and make an effort to uh, record a video of that. I think I will play the original first, and then... Sometime after that, I'll try playing uh, the sequel. Oh yeah, and also, in addition to Beat Hazard being available on PC and Xbox 360, it's also available on PlayStation 3, iOS, and Android. Forgot to mention that at the end of the video. Anyway, I'm done for real this time, guys. I'll see you later.